YouTube, Eric here. So, over on Tractor Binet, there was a uh, there's a conversation started out for some different reasons, but uh, people were talking about gear tractors and hydrostatic tractors. And hey, let's face it: with any tractor, with a skilled operator, you can do exactly what you want to do. The question then is: is what's safer, and also what's easier? And let me tell you: hydrostatic for doing fine loader work is way easier. Let me show you. Down on my floor I've got two pedals. One's for going forward, one's for going backwards. Okay, the more I step on it, the faster I go, I'm in low gear. What am I doing? What kind of work am I doing? All right, buttressed between two small trees I want to keep is my loader and I'm pulling an old windfall out. I'm literally going to go back and forth about three inches at a time and walk this thing on out. Going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and I'm gonna have to be sawing on my steering wheel every time. It's like a 40,000 point turn. This is a frequent thing. I don't have an excavator to just nab these things. And frankly, this guy, I chained it on out. It started out too far away anyway. So, uh, if you're using a gear tractor, the gear tractor, you'd have a shuttle on this side you'd be constantly going forward, back, forward, back, or more importantly, you'd be going forward, neutral, neutral to reverse, neutral to reverse, forward, neutral. You'd be going absolutely batty just trying to control the, uh, the tractor. Whereas on hydrostatic, it's just little tiny adjustments you need to make on the, on the pedals here. So I kind of want to have two hands for this just because, well, and uh, so I'm going to just start kind of walking my way on out here. And see, I'm already leaning on that one tree, so now I have two hands. Now I'm going to creep forward just a smidgen. Now I'm walking on that tree, turning the wheel again, and I'm walking out. Bang on, on another tree. Okay, so slowly but surely, 40,000 times later, I'll get this tree out. Actually, once I get the root ball passed, I can probably come by and just nab it with my grapple. But my point is, is that I can't, I'd be really working my brains off. No way do I, no way could I hold this camera and run a shuttle, okay? <laughs> I'm doing this one-handed. I couldn't do it with the shuttle. I couldn't film this. And that's the whole point. Hydrostatics are just a, a little bit easier. And frankly, because I'm not having to pay attention to what the machine's doing as much, I've got just a little bit more situational awareness going on as far as what's going on around my work. And I, I think that's a benefit. So YouTube, that's... Uh, that's a little discussion we're having over on Tractor Buy Net. If you're into tractors, I highly suggest you go on over there. I'm not affiliated. They don't pay me. But it's a, whoops. <laughs> Just pop a hole. Anyway, all right. See you later, YouTube. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tracking along and have talking to the camera.